All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have a really cool one from AV. This is a limited edition piece, one of a thousand. These are from a line that they're coming out with uh, here very soon. As a matter of fact, I'll leave a link down below in the description to where you can get all of the information about these watches coming out in this Royal British Legion lineup. Part of the money actually goes back to their charitable foundation, which is a really cool thing. I think it's about 10 pounds per watch sold goes back to the uh, Royal British Legion charitable foundation. So really, really nice stuff there. This is a really neat watch. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Go ahead and pull it out of the box here. I do believe that here on top of it, we have a little postcard that's describing a little bit more about that Royal British Legion stuff. This one we have here is the Flyboy uh, Chairman's Mecha Quartz Limited Edition timepiece. So really cool watch. If you want to pause it, if you guys want to read all the information about how they're giving back, you can read it right there on the paperwork. But let's go ahead and jump into this one. Now you guys, you can see the poppy there on the front. The poppy is throughout the watch, which is representative of the Royal British Legion and the military support. So I think it's a really, really neat timepiece. You also get a limited edition lapel pin for 2021 down here also with that poppy on there. You'll see as we look at the watch, the poppy is throughout it. Now I have, there was some styrofoam and stuff on top, so I pulled that off. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the paperwork so you guys can take a look at this. Let's you know here that $10 from the sale of this product will be paid to the Royal British Legion, a trading company, registered charity number. There's all the information there. Uh, more information, a little card here from the RBL themselves thanking you for your purchase. And here you have your Flyboy information about this watch, um, limited Mecha Quartz uh, edition. So what's interesting for me is when I, honestly, when I got this war watch and I, I read Mecha Quartz, I wasn't quite sure. I thought it was going to be a chronograph, but you know, it does apply to the, the, the movement style in this watch. Now, it does have AR coating on it, but this is a heavily, heavily domed crystal. I'll show you guys to the side there. So we are going to get quite a bit of reflection in the light here, but really cool looking watch. Now, I think, I do believe what this is running is the VH31 uh, quartz movement from Seiko. You get that four beat per second movement there. It is a quartz, uh, I do believe, combined with a mechanical um, module itself. So really nice looking timepiece. Uh, laid out, very cool. I really like this. It does feel like a pilot's watch. Note to you guys, the poppy down here at the six o'clock position, also on the dial there. And it's also on the crown, which is really, really nice. It's almost like an enamel crown. I'm not quite sure. It looks like a glass inlay there on the, on the crown, which is really, really neat with that poppy logo. The dial is laid out very nicely. You have a very pilot's feel watch here. You have your Arabics around uh, one through 11 there. Nice syringe hands on the watch. The watch is loaded with super luminova. So go ahead and stick around for the loom shot. Has a nice 60 minute bezel here. 120 click bezel around there. So if you do want to use this for flight timing or anything like that, if you're going to use it as a pilot's watch or just, you know, time and boiling your eggs, it works good for that. Case on the watch, very, very nicely done. I do believe this is all PVD coated. The case from side to side on this watch is 40 millimeters, uh, not including the crown, of course. I measure just around 48 lug tip to lug tip. It is thick at 14 millimeters, but I'll tell you guys, probably two to three millimeters of that is that domed crystal on the watch. And I do believe this is a sapphire coated mineral crystal with AR coating on it. You can see that blue tinge of that AR coating. 20 millimeter lug openings are also being used on the watch. The case itself has a real nice finish to it, mostly brushing, but you do have this nice polished chamfer in the black that comes around under the bezel of the watch. Leather strap on the watch with nice stitching on it, as you can see here. You get the matching PVD coated buckle on the watch, and we'll go ahead and undo this and take a look at the case back. Now, like I said, these are gonna be limited to 1,000 pieces in each of the uh, RBL design. So I'll show you the back of the case there. 1921 to 2021, that's the 10 year, the 100 year anniversary of the Royal British Legion. This one is not numbered, it's actually zero of 1000, so it's gonna be like one of their prototype models. 4096 being the number on this one. All stainless steel, 50 meters of water resistance on this watch, so good for splashing, good for wearing swimming, but you shouldn't wear it in the sauna, hot shower, uh, hot tub, or anything like that. But really, really nice looking timepiece. Let's go ahead and pause it for a second, get this watch, on my seven inch wrist and then stick around for that loom shot. So the watch definitely in this 40 millimeter case fits my wrist real well. Where's light because of this um, mechanical, or, or excuse me, mecha quartz movement here. If you guys aren't familiar, you can see that this is a quartz watch, but you get that four beat per second, that sweep of that second hand, which gives the illusion of a mechanical movement. But the great thing about it is you get the absolute accuracy of a quartz movement with this, this type of a setup. So very cool. Let's go ahead and dim the lights guys and check out the loom. 
right, so we dim the lights. Now, that's, that's the one thing with these heavily domed crystals on watches. I love a heavily domed crystal, but honestly, you do get a lot of reflection off them, and, and it makes a difference. Now, it's kind of hard to see in the light, but you guys can see that pebble texture to the dial. Little bit hard to pick up under the normal light. And you also got that 1 through 24 track inside the Arabics there that I forgot to mention when we were looking at the dial. But really nice piece. One of a thousand. These are only going to be a thousand pieces made limited in these series. I'll leave links down below to this uh, setup. And if you guys want more information, I think these are going to be available or released on the 22nd of this month. So just a few more days, these will be available for um, purchase. So, all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.